This is Ling 270, Language, Technology, and Society. In this part of Module 1, we will explore the topic of writing as a language technology. We are going to look at a fundamental misunderstanding of the Chinese writing system by intellectuals in 17th century Europe. We are covering this topic to prepare us for one of the big takeaway messages from chapter two of the textbook. That is, all symbol systems depend on convention for meaning. The intellectuals of 17th century Europe failed to grasp this concept when they misunderstood the Chinese writing system in three key ways. This misunderstanding is alluded to in Chapter 2 of our textbook, Language, Technology, and Society. Intellectuals in 17th century Europe failed to recognize that all symbol systems, including the Chinese writing system, depend on convention for meaning. European intellectuals in the 17th century misunderstood Chinese writing in three key ways. They incorrectly thought that Chinese characters directly represented ideas. They incorrectly thought that Chinese characters do not represent sounds. As a result of these two first incorrect ideas, they incorrectly thought that Chinese characters were truly language independent. Based on this false conclusion, they had great hopes regarding universal language, that is, the idea of a truly language-independent writing system where each symbol inherently represents an idea in a convention-free way. The next video examines this search for universal language in more detail. That video was recorded for a different class of mine, History of Machine Translation. So, to recap, European intellectuals in the 17th century fundamentally misunderstood the Chinese writing system. They incorrectly thought that Chinese characters directly represent ideas. They incorrectly thought that Chinese characters don't represent sounds. And they incorrectly thought that Chinese characters are language independent.